the scripture says in here after she got healed while he was still speaking some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house and said your daughter is dead and then they added this thing why trouble the teacher any further it was dying and now it's dead and then they gave him this question why trouble the teacher any longer and when Jesus heard that the scripture says as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken he said to the ruler of the synagogue don't be afraid only believe if following Jesus made things worse I have a word directly from the throne of heaven don't be afraid only believe if fasting for your children made them worse as soon as he heard the word he said to the man don't be afraid only believe the devil will whisper and say why trouble the teacher why trouble fasting why trouble praying why trouble giving why trouble selling yourself why trouble serving as soon as Jesus heard the word he said don't be afraid to follow me when things get worse don't be afraid to follow me when things don't turn around at once don't be afraid and only believe God is saying to somebody in this room today the situation in your house got worse when you started to believe for the breakthrough in your church things started to get worse when you started to tie things in finances started to get worse and now you have voices in your head tithing is wrong you have voices in your head I, I was better before I started to pray I was better before I cut off those things I was better things seem to be better in my life before I really pressed into God Jesus is grabbing your hand right now and he wants to look in your eyes with the fierceness in his eyes and tell you do not be afraid to follow me when things get worse because they tend to get better after that when a few years ago when I felt that that prompting to give a year and to give pretty much gave all my savings away and then decided to take one year where I take every single month and to take my savings for each month and give them away to the missions and I made a promise to God, I said, Lord, for the next 12 months, I'm going to give myself entirely, I want to see revival in this ministry, but God, I know you want to change this man before you change the hungry gen. In the first month, it was so exciting. But I had two rental properties, and one of my rental properties, I lost renters that month. In Tri Cities, rental market was very hot, very good. 98% of all the properties were rented out. I always had two, three days, and I would find renters. First month passed, and no renters. But I gave promise to God, I will give my savings away and I don't have money to pay for rent. A girl named Ifra on Facebook might be watching right now. She has no idea. For some weird reason, she messaged me and says, what is your address? And I said, why? She said, I want to send you a thousand dollars. I said, here's my social security as well. I'm just kidding, I did not say social security. <laughs> little did she know she sent exact amount exact amount to pay for the rent and to pay for the promise I gave to God that month things in the ministry didn't change in fact things started to get worse with my properties second month no rent third month no rent fourth month no rent and I was like you kidding me when I wasn't sacrificing I had rent I started to sacrifice and I have financial problems and things in the ministry aren't moving I'm like I'm losing my mind things are not doing good and this is what get, got me through I felt a strong word from Jesus holding my hand and telling me this Vlad do not be afraid to keep following me when it's getting worse and in the fourth month in Walmart line because I was wiring the money overseas to the missionary to, to the mission work there 
I had these questions. They were, this question came and says, why trouble the teacher? Why sacrifice? Why give? Why believe? Ministry is not moving. Nothing is here. Why do that? But there was another voice that says, you gave a promise. Don't be afraid. Only believe. Within two weeks, rent was found. Within a short amount of time, one of the guys that first I remember within that month came is Louis. He's somewhere with the camera right now, who's married now to my cousin. The people started to come one by one. And today, I think probably there's not one service that we have where we don't see people getting saved. We see people getting baptized. We see internships now. We see conferences. We see a movement of God. There's somebody in this room, you need to hear this word right now. Don't be afraid to following God when things get worse. Joseph, don't stop leaving your purity just because you got betrayed and thrown in jail because of your purity. David, don't stop worshiping God just because you heard the promise from God and things got worse for you. Paul and Silas, don't stop singing songs because you landed in jail for deliverance. Do not stop doing what you're doing just because things are not turning around. Your children are acting worse. That does not mean it's a sign from God that God wants you to stop praying. It's a sign from God. Do not be afraid. Only believe. Keep on fighting. Keep on praying. Keep on giving. Keep on believing. Keep on dreaming. Keep on stepping forward because Jesus, the Son of the living God, is holding your hand. He is supporting your position. He is holding your life and He's telling you we are on the way to a miracle. We are on the way to a miracle. If you're in this room right now and you felt like this was for you, you know what, I, I am that guy. Things are actually worse and I'm about to give up. Just slip up your hand. If you're saying that's me, this, this is exactly for me. I feel like giving up. Things are actually gotten worse ever since I started to press in. Just keep your hand up for just a few 60 seconds. If you see a hand next to you, place your hand up on their shoulder right now. Let's begin to speak that word. Do not be afraid, only believe. Do not be afraid, only believe. Do not be afraid to keep walking with God. Do not be afraid to keep pressing into the Holy Ghost. Do not be afraid to keep fasting. Do not be afraid to keep dreaming. Come on somebody, lift your voice the next 60 seconds. Begin to fill this room right now with an encouragement. I silence every voice of the devil that says, why trouble the teacher? I silence that voice of the accuser that says you made a wrong mistake. I silence that voice that says to you, it's not worth to keep pressing into God. Come on, 30 more seconds, 30 more seconds, 30 more seconds. Pray until they get breakthrough. Pray until tears roll down their eyes. Pray until something shifts. Until they hear the voice of Jesus. Do not be afraid. Till they hear the voice of Jesus. Don't be afraid. Till they hear the voice of Jesus. Keep on walking. 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 Thank you.